Hello, my name is Dmitry Denisov, and I'm a scientist here at Fermilab. I started at Fermilab in 1994, so it's more than 20 years by now. And since 2006, uh, I am elected uh, co-spokesperson of the D0 experiment, one of the large experiments which were running at the Tabatron uh, since 1992. But uh, making experiments which are large, complex uh, detectors with millions of detection channels, uh, sometimes bring some challenges which you don't expect when you design this experiment. And one of them, surprising for many of us, was uh, the following. When we started data collection with the Tabatron in the early 2000s, um, every year autumn was coming, so after the hot summer here in Illinois, and uh, many animals, creatures, from mouses to snakes, they were trying to find place to spend the cold winter. And surprisingly, the collision hall of the D0 experiment was a perfect place. It was warm, it was uh, dry, so uh, these creatures were finding every small hole to penetrate and to get into the collision hall. And there were many dark places, crates where they were warm and nice, so it was really nice. So when you hear someone screaming during the <laughs> short access to the collision hall, you could be sure that someone probably found a snake in his equipment. Yes, so nothing actually happened, but we did at that time, yeah, every August and September and sometime into October, develop a training for the people who were entering collision hall in order to be ready that, look, in addition to the equipment which you created, you might find something unexpected, not just top quark or the Higgs boson, but you can find some uh, creatures which could be in your equipment. So uh, expect unexpected, I would say. So look, with scientists, when they do their experiment, sometimes can handle many different unexpected, uh, sometimes fun, sometimes not that fun topics. And this one was something which we probably many of us still remember being scared entering collision hall and finding snake or mouse in his or her equipment.